welcome back to episode four of the Chaotic Banter podcast. Um, for these next few epi- like episodes or so, we're going to try to keep it a little shorter. Maybe like 15, 20 minutes of episodes. So, you know, I don't know. It makes it easier for me to edit because I'm, I'm too lazy. For this episode, we're going to be talking about pretty much like the recent trailers that came out this week and last week. So, uh, Anthony, um, what do you want to talk about first? Well, you know, we're like a few weeks, we're, we're like, what, two weeks behind, but... Yeah, we're very behind on everything, actually. <laughs> yeah, of course, as like like always, but <laughs> I think I think we should discuss, you know, the one that's actually, ironically, been talked about the most, but not in the, you know, best ways possible, uh, Captain Marvel. <laughs> God, I told you, I don't want to talk about this one first, but fuck, fuck <laughs> it, we'll do it. <laughs> We gotta get it out the way. We have to. We have to tell people right, how we so, feel. Um, yeah, it fucking sucks. All right, next video. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it doesn't suck. It's just um. All right, so let's let's give our. What was your yeah. initial reaction like when you first saw it? Before you got on the internet and saw what everyone else was saying, like what was your initial reaction? I was, I I was like, it's okay. Like it didn't, it didn't excite me in any way it just looked like a stand it looked it's like one of those um like let's say a standard action trailer comes out for a movie that's what it felt like it was just like oh cool an action movie or i don't know it just didn't feel like anything new or like unique yeah like it felt like a very like like it felt like very straightforward superhero movie like i've seen this before (laughs) it's not really that and nothing special you know and yeah. It was very like yeah. It was very meh. You know what I mean? Meh. Yeah. The best part was um when you see Phil Coulson, but no, I'm just <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. He had a full head of hair. Yeah, cause you know if you're an Agents of Shields fan like I am, um, yeah. um Agent Coulson is a uh, like an awesome character. So yeah, you know there's there's that. Yeah, like see like and see see like I never really watched that, but in the movies you know he's he's a pretty cool guy. And then I heard in the, and then Kevin, he watches that show like. Religi- like religiously like he's seen all the seasons he didn't you tell me you watched that show more than any of like the other marvel shows yeah that's pretty much like the only one to actually watch everything and pay attention when episodes come out and everything too you know like um with that show you know it doesn't it's not like a show like luke cage or daredevil like it doesn't have like a big um hero and tag like protagonist or whatever so you know a lot of people that yeah. They don't they don't watch it because of that, but I heard that it's actually pretty good. Like Kevin told me a lot of really like the uh, seasons and, and stuff. That, yeah. Uh-huh. And what helps with that show is that you learn a lot about the Cree. So with a lot of the knowledge of the Cree, because if you don't really know the Cree from the comics, yeah. if you watch the show, they inform you a lot about the Cree and what they do. It kind of helps you, you know, kind of understand what's gonna what's going to happen in Captain Marvel, or you have like a basic knowledge of what the Kree are and what they do going into the movie. So that show actually does help a lot. Does it talk about the Kree scroll war? Like Um it it like hints it, but it mainly focuses it on um who the Kree are, why they go to Earth, how the inhumans were created. Like they talk about certain experiments they do and yeah, so I'm pretty sure some of the experiments that they mentioned in the show is going to be one of the experiments that they did to Captain Marvel in the uh-huh. film. Okay, yeah, yeah. And, and then, um, from what Kevin told me, like, Phil Coulson's pretty badass in that show. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's going to it's gonna be good to see him in the movie again. But my initial reaction <clears throat> when I saw it, you know, I haven't read a lot of Captain Marvel comics. I was kind of intro- uh, I was kind of introduced to her around, like, the Civil War two. Mm-hmm. around that period you know and like that I, from a lot of people who have read her comics i've heard that that's kind of where i don't know like it was kind of like a bad iteration of the character you know yeah, yeah. um the comics were kind of going in a very like sjw route you know what i mean yeah and everyone hated captain marvel and civil war 2 <laughs> and i was i was actually listening to a, a podcast the other day and the guy made a really good point he was saying that why would you in such a big event like that why would you introduce the character and make her like this unlikable you know 
person because for a lot of people that's gonna that's gonna be like their first like introduction to the character you know yeah and so like go yeah going into the movie like a lot of people that's what they have in their mind is like you know mm-hmm. she she's not very you know likable or she's you know very is not as good you know i knew captain marvel when it was um when it was the guy captain marvel first um uh, marvel oh yeah and then um i remember seeing her in one of the um one of the marvel animated shows yeah and then i was like okay she was kind of cool in that because you know but she was i think it was when she's been captain marvel for a few years so she was kind of like not spunky but she had a lot of energy like she was like laid back and she's like oh yeah cool you know i'm just gonna fight these bad guys and be back sort of like vibe i kind of always saw her like in the comics i always kind of saw her here and there like as mrs miss marvel you know where she has like the black costume yeah yeah and and i always like i mean i liked her i mean i thought she was pretty badass like like you said she like uh her powers like they were pretty they were pretty cool it kind of reminds me of uh you know nova yeah oh yeah nova's cool yeah, it, it was kind of like that, and I was like, okay, and she's pretty, like, she, I was like, wow, she's, like, really, she's obviously really strong, but when I first saw the Captain Marvel trailer, man, I was just kind of like, it was kind of the same reaction I had with Ant-Man and the Wasp. It was just kind of like, uh, ugh, like, it's just, it didn't excite me very much, and I was just like, uh, all right, and then, you know, let's talk about some of the things that followed that trailer. Everyone was talking about how wouldn't the character look like the um the actress brie larson um i don't know like for me i need i need to see more but yeah it just doesn't seem like i'm not i don't look at the actress and i'm like okay that's captain marvel no one else can play this role i don't have that validation yet you know what i mean yeah same that's true i don't know because i see like as like i could see a lot of like female actresses being able to play her honestly exactly anyone I don't know, like, her voice doesn't, like, the tone of her voice doesn't, doesn't, like, equate to, like, super, like, a superhero. Like, the, especially the very last line is, wait, what was it? It was, like, you don't believe, you won't believe who I am, or, um, you don't know what I can become, or something. Yeah, because, <sighs> yeah, that's the thing, is, like, the way she was delivering those lines, and it was, it kind of seemed like it was, like, a, I don't want to say voiceover, but... It just it didn't have much emotion to it, if you know what I mean. It just seemed very like she's reading off a script, and I don't know, man. Cause it, cause it, okay, I don't want to compare things, but compared to like the first Wonder Woman trailer, it was very epic. It was very like, oh damn, like this is gonna be so good, and yeah. Gal, Gal Gadot, like she sold it, like she was like, okay, like yeah, like that's Wonder Woman, like man. It's cause, cause, cause she's amazing. Exactly. She's, she's the best. And uh, <laughs> obviously, you know, Kevin, Kevin thinks she's hot, so he's kind of biased. But uh, yeah. I think she's gorgeous. Okay. <laughs> 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 but but yeah, like with um, with and Brie Larson, like okay, there's a lot of comic fans out there who don't really like, you know, they just watch comic book movies, but they don't really know mm. like of um what she's done in other movies. She actually won an Oscar for another movie she did like she can act okay yeah she can act not like she's a nobody that can't act like the actress she can act but mm-hmm. based on what we saw in the trailer man like it just there wasn't much emotion her face was the same and some people say she's that way because of the Kree experiments like it makes her lose like her humanity in a way and so whenever she comes back to earth she's not really uh-huh. she doesn't really remember who she is and so she's just very like distant but at the same time it's like not you know for someone who just casually watches the trailer they're not gonna know that and i think that's why i got a lot of backlash was like why is she so wooden why is she so yeah you know and also like when she like appeared on earth she didn't really look confused she looked angry (laughs) (laughs) i was like why are you why are you mad you're the one that like crashed on earth like that's your fault (laughs) yeah and and then i think i think like the like the thing that is bringing this movie down a lot is just like all of the publicity that it's getting and all of the hype that Marvel is trying to build towards it. Like, okay, mm-hmm. she's going to be like, she's going to lead the Marvel universe. She's the future of the Marvel universe. She's the most powerful character in the universe. It's like, all right, you're doing a lot of like, um, you're telling us a lot of things, but we want to see it. Like, you know? Yeah, exactly. And it's just kind of like, even that last shot where it's showing her powers, I was just like, uh, it just didn't seem like- It looked, it looked weird. I don't know. It just looked weird. It looked kind of like, 
I don't know. Obviously, the CGI isn't done yet, but it just looked kind of like yeah. I had, I've seen this before. Like, come on, I needed something. Yeah, more. It looked like it, it looked like Goku trying to like turn Super Saiyan. I don't know why. Just, <laughs> <laughs> he's like holding it himself and like, and then. He wasn't even no no he wasn't even going Super Saiyan. He, he was going KO Can. Like it wasn't even Super Saiyan yet. Oh no, it just looked weird. Like it looked. It looked un, it looked very um like cartoonious esque. To be honest, that last shot I don't know like it just looked kind of like CW ish. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it did. I can, yeah, I could, I could feel that. And you know how CW is. It's fucking garbage. It sucks. <laughs> don't watch CW at all. Um, if you have the channel, delete it. Delete it off your TV if that's possible. I wish Jordan was here so we could talk about Supergirl. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about Supergirl is like the best show on TV, dude. Our friend. <laughs> okay, no, 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 no. The best show is Inhumans. <laughs> oh, disgusting! Disgusting! <laughs> you know what? You're fired. I'm sorry. <laughs> that never happened. We're just gonna forget about that. <laughs> yeah, but but like so so like basically for our final thoughts on the Captain Marvel trailer, um, for me, I just gotta see more. You know, it kind of felt more like a teaser than a trailer, and. I mean, just on all the hype surrounding the movie and stuff, you know, what the actress is saying and the studio and stuff, yeah. I just think they need to, they need to really do a better job of selling us like on this, you know, if, if you're going to, if you're saying that this character is going to be very important and she's going to be spearheading mm -hmm. the future of the franchise, like you got to make us believe it. You can't just give us another cookie cut out movie. Like, um, you know, like another Ant-Man movie. Like you can't just like, you need to have yeah. us, you need to give us something that's going to like, you know, sell us yeah, like, the the, like the trailer felt like it felt kind of like how the very early marvel movie trailers were were shown you know like very typical format while the previous marvel movies that came out they tried to like change it up just a little bit mm -hmm. but this one felt very basic early marvel yeah, trailer you know, format it's, and, and it's, it's weird because we're at a different stage when it comes to the mcu because obviously coming off of infinity war you know, it's, I think that's a big reason why, like, the Ammon yeah. and the Wasp felt mm -hmm. kind of meh, and this one feels kind of meh, so, you know. They, yeah, because, like, like, Infinity War is just a whole, a whole other level, especially the trailer, yes, too. That's one thing, is the trailer was amazing, and, like, uh, they just really need to do, like, they need to, they just need to do something else. Like, they need to do a better job of, instead of just being, like, oh, well, here's your superhero origin story. Uh, nothing special, nothing you haven't seen, but it's Captain Marvel. It's Marvel, so it's going to be great. Yeah. You know, a lot of people aren't familiar with the character yet. Like, so you need to like, like I said, once again, you need to sell it and you need to do a better job. Yeah. And they failed. No, no, I'm <laughs> <laughs> their, their first attempt, they didn't do too well. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, um, we're going to move on over pretty much sticking with kind of Marvel, like Marvel characters is the new Venom. Oh yeah. Um, you're gonna start off with this. All right. Yeah, you talk. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> at, you know, with the Mar with the uh, Venom trailer, with the whole Venom movie, actually, I actually was really excited because I heard it was gonna be rated R. I heard that it was gonna be like kind of its own story, and you know, I've always wanted to see Venom done right. I love the character. Me and Kevin, we both love Spider-Man a lot, and Venom yeah. for me was always my favorite um, Spider-Man villain. I just love everything about the character. Um, I love his comics. And so, you know, in Spider-Man 3, whenever he was kind of shoehorned in at the last second, I didn't like that. I mean, and it sucks because mm -hmm. for a lot of pe people and casual moviegoers, that's the last thing they remember of Venom. And so I was like, all right, they got to get it right this time, you know. And from mm -hmm. everything I've seen in the first two trailers and everything, perfect. I loved it. And the only bad thing recently is whenever it came out that the studio was suddenly making the movie PG-13. Yeah, that that's just like, that's a slap to the face, <laughs> honestly. It's just such a huge what the you know what the f because obviously the studio wants to get money. You know Sony, you know how they are. And like they were they were trying like really hard before there were rumors of like oh it's gonna be PG thirteen, but then they said no it's gonna stay rated R. Yeah. And then just what a week or two before the movie comes out, they're saying oh sorry it's back to being PG thirteen. It's it's like at the last second they were like. Wow, we didn't realize this many people were gonna uh, want to watch this movie. Let's make it PG-13 because we can get more yeah. money. Yeah, 
it's just kind of like you know as long as it isn't at the expense of the story and the character then you know i don't really won't care but based on the last trailer i'm pretty damn excited for this movie man some of the lines they deliver are kind of cheesy like the whole uh turn in the wind <laughs> yeah well not that just well that but also like um some of the the human characters when they're talking they're trying to be like you know when they're trying to be like a smart ass or something it comes off kind of like eh, i've heard that so many times before <laughs> yeah yeah i mean as long as it feels or because i mean as long as it feels organic you know like it doesn't yeah. feel like a forced joke or anything then i mean i'll be cool mm. with it but i really like the storyline that they're going with um it looks like they're adapting like the multiple symbiote storyline from the comics and so um there's gonna yeah. be like multiple people with the symbiotes and venom's gonna be uh fighting them all and um i'm just really looking forward to it um uh, riot which is the main the main symbiote you see in the movie he looks he looks really damn good he looks really good i'm interested to see that there's also saying they also say that carnage is supposed to be in the movie but i don't really know how you're gonna fit him in i think <clears throat> it's just probably gonna be like a little easter egg like in the back it's probably gonna be like a computer file or um yeah you know like they have the, the vault like the the capsules with the symbiotes in them it's probably gonna have one of them is gonna be labeled carnage or something yeah because there's another one <sighs> i forgot the name but it's this female like toxin? This... no there's no way it could be toxin because that's from the combination of uh carnage and venom so well there's this female i remember seeing a clip and she shoots. Oh, yeah there are some female symbiotes yeah like she shoots uh she shoots stuff like she uses her powers to like shoot like she shoots um... stuff <laughs> i think they all shoot stuff <laughs> <laughs> uh you shoot you you shoot stuff no i'm just playing let me not take it there disgusting <laughs> <laughs> This is a family show, Anthony. I saw this one thing, and it was like, explain the plot of a movie on Twitter. And it was Spider-Man. It was like, a boy starts developing weird, uh, <laughs> his body starts going through changes. And he shoots a, he shoots a white sticky fluid from his body. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> that sounds very familiar. <laughs> <laughs> all right uh <laughs> all right but um yeah so like with the venom with the final venom trailer yeah i mean i'm pretty excited for it um i'm really looking forward to it i just want to see what they do with the character you know there's even rumors that supposedly tom holland's supposed to make an appearance and you know obviously sony they co-own the rights to the spider-man character along with marvel so you never know anything's possible but it's just one of those yeah, things where I'm just super I'm just really excited to see what they do with it because based on everything mm. I've seen it just looks it looks pretty badass yeah it was just kind of weird like seeing riot making like the same weapons that carnage makes mm-hmm so I don't I don't really know I don't know anything about riot honestly yeah I don't know a lot either um I've always been a huge carnage fan you know so I know a lot about yeah. carnage and yeah like you said I, I know yeah, yeah like carnage venom and toxin and anti-venom I know a lot more but riot I've never I've heard him like once or twice but I don't really know anything about him isn't isn't toxin like the offspring of venom and the carnage symbiote or something like that yeah yeah, yeah it is hmm, okay interesting yeah mm. i mean i noticed that too and i honestly thought carnage was gonna be the main villain because they were saying that they cast the, the um the actor um from uh, was it woody harrelson the actor who played the general in uh, uh war for the planet of the apes and he was also in um in the new hand so the new solo movie they cast him, and a lot of people were saying they haven't seen him in the trailers at all. So a lot of people are speculating: is he gonna be um, Carnage? You know, is he gonna be the guy who gets sure. him? Which is um, Cletus Cassidy. That's what it was. But yeah, so you know, we'll see what they do with it. Uh, I think I think they have mm -hmm. the potential to like, you know, it'll take a lot to mess this movie up. So we'll see. Yeah, what, exactly. We'll see what happens. All right. So the next trailer we're gonna discuss is, of course, uh, the Dark Phoenix trailer, which was released um was it was it last night or the day before i think it was the day before because you sent it to me like midday dude it came out late it came out late like it was almost midnight mm -hmm. and they came they came out late with that one but anyways yeah so that was the other marvel movie that was released this week and obviously it's um it's not part of the mcu it takes place in the um fox's timeline of the x-men or whatever but i think this is going to be the last x-men movie before they're integrated integrated into the mcu am i correct yeah yeah i think so yeah yeah because yeah. a lot of people they weren't even sure that this movie was still even going to come out i know i completely forgot about it honestly <laughs> honestly i was looking forward to the new mutants movie more than this one mm. 
I thought it was going to be pretty cool, but who knows if we're even going to get that. I don't know. They're doing a bunch of reshoots, and that was the story with this one. They did a bunch of reshoots with this one, so, you know, who yeah. knows what the original story was, but, um, yeah, so let's talk about it. What was your initial reaction, man, when you, when you first saw it? That was really, really cool. I like I like the like the dark tone, like the very dark tone of this movie. Uh-huh. Where it's more of, um, well, of course it's action because it's X-Men, but it's more of, like, you're like figuring out how a character thinks and how their their mind is like evolving and and whatnot. Yeah. So I just find it interesting how they're just going into like the actual characteristics and personality of um, of Phoenix. One thing I really do like is that you know a lot of people see there's people there's always gonna be people who complain but mm-hmm. people were complaining that oh it's too much like the last stand they're doing that same you know because the Dark Phoenix storyline uh, from the comics it's 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 kind of different yeah. but. You know, they're like, oh, they're kind of doing the one from The Last Stand. But what I like is that, you know, in the comics, uh, Jean Grey and um, Cyclops, they have a really, uh, they have a really, like, um, fleshed out relationship. Yeah. And in the old movies, you didn't really get to see that because uh, Wolverine was always, like, the focal point, you know? And yeah, and he was, you know, trying to, like, bang her every time. <laughs> yeah, I know, for real. <laughs> and then, even in The Last Stand, Cyclops, he dies at the very beginning. So, I mean... You know what I mean? Yeah. You didn't get to see him. So I'm kind of glad that they're kind of like uh, fleshing that out more in this one. And mm-hmm. like you said, the dark tone and, you know, like I said, I kind of forgot about it. I wasn't really like, uh, I was kind of looking forward to it at the beginning, but it just took so long to mm-hmm. come out. Anything to come out that I was just kind of like, I forgot about it. And yeah. after seeing the trailer, I was kind of intrigued again. And I was like, wow, I think this has the potential to be really good because it's its own thing. I really, I've been, a, I've been a really big fan of the recent X-Men movies. Uh, Aside from Apocalypse, yeah, which uh, I thought Apocalypse oh, was... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that one. <laughs> that, 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 that's, a, that's a conversation for another day, but... Yeah. You know, I, I thought Apocalypse could have been better, but, I mean, there were still a lot of good, good, cool moments in it, but I thought I was a really big fan of Days of Future Past, um, mm-hmm, First same. Class. I thought that, you know, I really liked the direction that the uh, studio was heading in with these movies, mm-hmm. and so this is pretty much like the climax to all of it, and... You know, I'm, yeah. I actually think it looks pretty. I think it looks pretty good, man. Like you said, like there were some intense moments in it. Like whenever the car crash, remember that? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's just sad, man. She was like with her parents or whatever, and like I don't know if she did that intentionally, but no, I think it's like her power was just like awoke, pr- probably. Yeah, it got a little bit out of control, and then it caused the accident. If that's what happened, then that's freaking sad. Like that's crazy. Yeah. Because if you notice, too, the glass, it didn't hit her face or anything because, like, her powers were acting. Um... Yeah, and also, like, it was hinting that um, Xavier kind of, like, erased that part of her memory. Yeah. Like, that's what I'm yes. guessing. He's, like, erased some parts of her memory and stuff, so that's why she's, like, kind of, like, losing control and shit. Yeah, exactly. So, I think this movie is going to be, like, yes, there's going to be awesome action scenes in it, but... Mm-hmm. Like with the other X Men movies, especially Days of Future Past, one thing I really admire about those movies is the um, the way they write the characters and stuff. Like whenever it's time to feel emotion, you feel it because it's written really yeah. well. And that's one thing that I think the X Men movies do really well. You know that other superhero movies don't. So mm-hmm. I think, like you said, it's gonna be kind of a character study. And it's gonna be really good. It's gonna be really inter- interesting. Mm-hmm. I hope I hope Quicksilver's in it. I know he's like super OP in those movies. <laughs> That's why he's never in any of the big fights because it would be completely unfair. But I, it'd be cool to see him, to see Jean Grey stop him or something. He is in know? it. He is in it. I really, I didn't see him. Like I don't know why I, I didn't see him. He was in it for like once. Like you saw him like in a really fast, uh, a really fast shot. But he was in it. So it's, uh, well, it's, it's him. It was so fast, I couldn't see it. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's him, Beast, Xavier, uh, Cyclops. Like they're bringing um a lot of a lot of the same actors and a lot of the same characters back. You know. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. It's pretty I, I interesting. Just didn't see him. I don't know why. For some reason, I just he just didn't. He didn't like. I didn't like recognize him there. So you're too you're too slow, bro. He's Quicksilver. You're too you're just too slow. All right, bitch. You know what? Fuck you. <laughs> um. <laughs> no, but yeah, he was in it. So. You know, every movie up until now, like, every movie up to this point, like, they've always had, like, a really, really cool sequence with him. So, I wonder if they'll do it again Mm -hmm. in this one. But, yeah, so, you know, some good trailers this week. Uh, There's other trailers, obviously, that we're going to discuss. But as far as Marvel goes, that'll do it for this podcast. And I'll take it to Kevin, so, you know. Yep, so this is going to be pretty much part one of the new trailers that came out. And, you know, we're going to go on and... 
talking about part two. You just like click, you just click the, the link, the, the, the video. It's gonna, it's gonna be there. You click that and you can watch it. <laughs> that was fucking weird.